Hey everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure the best settings in QBitTorrent to speed up your downloads. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned torrent user, this guide will surely help you get the best out of your torrenting experience. So let's dive right in. Before we start, one thing you should know, these settings may or may not work for you. Just try them out, and if they don't work, you can always try other settings. Now let's start by opening the application and looking at the settings we're going to tweak. First, let's go to the Tools menu. You will find it at the top left corner of the screen. When you click on it, a drop-down menu will appear. Now, from the menu, click on the Options. When you click on the Options button, a new format will appear. Now, you will see multiple tabs at the left side of the format. From there, select the Connection tab. Once you are in the Connection tab, here, you can change several important settings. The Peer Connection Protocol settings are a crucial aspect of tweaking QBitTorrent for better performance. Allow connections through both TCP and UTP. This is usually the best choice for most users as it lets QBitTorrent use all available connections. UTP is a microtransport protocol designed to minimize network congestion. It's usually best to leave the port number as default, but if you have any specific requirements, you can change it here. It is recommended to set a port between 49,160 and 65,534. Avoid common ports that might be throttled by your internet service provider. After that, Check the boxes for UPnP slash NAT PMP port forwarding. This helps in allowing QBit Torrent to communicate through your router without manual port forwarding. You can also adjust the global number of connections and the maximum number of connected peers per torrent. A higher number might improve speed but can also burden your network. A recommended starting point might be 500 global connections and 100 per torrent, but these values can vary depending on your connection speed and stability. Enter 20 for global upload slots and 4 for upload slots per torrent. Now let's move on to the speed tab, where you can set up limits for uploads and downloads. If you have limited bandwidth, you might want to set a cap on your download and upload speeds on the global rate limit. Otherwise, leaving it as unlimited usually works best. Also, Set the alternative rate limit settings to unlimited. Now, it's time to go to the BitTorrent tab. Once you are in, now, in the BitTorrent tab, you'll find some crucial options that can affect your torrenting performance. Make sure that DHT and Peer Exchange are enabled, as these help in finding more peers. Now, check the box of torrent queuing settings. The queuing settings allow you to limit the number of active torrents. Set them according to your preferences and system capability. This helps manage bandwidth and system resources, especially if you're working with a large number of torrents. The option do not count slow torrents in these limits refers to a setting that allows you to exclude slow torrents from the active torrent count. Torrents that are downloading or uploading below a certain threshold can be classified as slow. This threshold can be customized here. When you enable the Do Not Count Slow Torrents in these limits option, any torrent that falls below the specified speed threshold will not be counted towards the active torrent limit. This means that even if you've reached your maximum number of active torrents, a new torrent can still be started if there are any slow torrents that fall below the threshold. And you have to set both of them into 10 kilobytes speed. Once you're done. Now. Scroll down a little bit, and you will see this option. The automatically add these trackers to new downloads option in QBitTorrent allows users to specify a list of tracker URLs that will be automatically added to every new torrent that they download. Trackers play a vital role in the BitTorrent protocol. They are servers that coordinate the transfer of files between different peers in a torrent swarm by keeping track of where file parts reside on peer machines. To add trackers, open any browser on your PC. Once you are in the browser, click on the search bar and type torrent tracker list. Once you type it, hit the enter button. 
When you click the enter button, multiple results will appear in front of you. Now, from these, click on the first link. When you click on the first link, a new screen will appear. Now, scroll down, and you will see this code. Copy this code, and paste it in the QBitTorrent field. By adding additional trackers, you can potentially increase the number of peers that you connect with. More peers often lead to faster download speeds as you have more sources to download pieces of the file. This feature can be particularly helpful if you have specific trackers that you trust and want to use consistently across all your torrents. It saves you from having to manually add them to each new download. Be mindful of the trackers you add, as adding unreliable or malicious trackers can negatively affect your downloading experience. Once you're done, now, click on the Apply. After that, click on the Advanced tab. Once you are in, then scroll down to the very bottom and find Maximum Concurrent HTTP Announce option. Once you find the Maximum Concurrent HTTP Announce setting, you will see 50 written near to this option. Now, remove 50 and type 300. The Maximum Concurrent HTTP Announces setting in QBitTorrent determines how many simultaneous connections the client will attempt to make to the tracker via HTTP. The optimal setting for this could vary depending on your system's resources and network capabilities. Higher values might result in faster response times from the tracker but could also put more load on both your system and the tracker. These were some of the essential tweaks that can make your qubit torrent experience faster and more efficient. Feel free to experiment with these settings to find what works best for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.